Hi. Welcome back. Today is Friday, July 3rd, and I am coming to you with an opening. Um, I received an item. I, I won't be doing an unboxing per se because when the items come in the mail now, we don't bring in the boxes. We just unbox everything outside, bring the contents in because it's too hot to leave anything outside for any length of time. And with um, everything that's going on in the world, we don't want to, you know, bring in the stuff. Can't sanitize boxes very well and don't know how many thousands of people's people that have touched the boxes. Excuse me, I needed to sip. So just to be safe, we are unboxing everything outside, bringing contents in. So then this is my second take. So that is why you're going to see this thing. It's already out of the package. I went to pause it and I accidentally hit stop and I don't want to have to meld this together. Um, yeah, so anyhow, this is what it is. This is my first Star Roar. I have not had one from them yet. <clears throat> I've seen this and it was just adorable. I did order this off of Amazon. Um, cause I had rewards that I could use. Plus, if I can find get a diamond painting from a company, you know, a certain company that I can get through Amazon, I do that because I have an Amazon Rewards Visa. And when I purchase these things off of Amazon, I not only get two-day shipping, sometimes it's a little longer, but most of the time I can get it within two to four days, but also I say 5%, so yeah. If I, I could still use that card, through someplace else, but I wouldn't receive 5% cash back. So that's what I, why I use it. <clears throat> um, so I've been through all of this once. Now I forget everything that I said, but all your Star Wars diamond paintings come with this pamphlet. Gives you, you know, eight steps of stuff. Shows you the release paper. Shows you your, um, your symbols. Shows you how your baggies or your drills come. Shows what they look like in the tray. Pat, when, uh, wax and pen. Symbols. Extra baggies that it comes with. And how to frame. Then on this side, it, this here comes just like how you get the sticker with some diamond paintings. Or you get the inventory sheet. This is what this is. So it has number. This painting here has 26 pin, um different colors, 19 of which are um, just drills. The bottoms, the remaining are rhinestones. Shows your symbol, your drill number, how many you need, and how many you have that they give you. So in this case, I need, for the first 19 colors, I need 14,835, but there's roughly 17,005. And for the rhinestones, one, <clears throat> there are a total of, those are six, right? No, seven. One, two, three, four, five, six. Yeah, there's a total of seven different rain, uh, colors of rhinestones. They were said I roughly need 5,915, and they sent me 7,692. So, we're through that. All Star Wars paint, uh, diamond paintings come with release paper, so if you do not like the clear cover, you can take off the clear cover and put those on or if you don't want to use parchment paper you can use these both sides and i don't know if you can see but there's there there, yeah, there if you can catch it there's a little bit of shininess there that comes on both sides so it doesn't matter what side you use i buy these um off of the website um the star Wars website on amazon and get a pack of 60 for I think $11.99 and I also buy these off of Amazon too through it's through the Star War <coughs> Star Roar excuse me it's off this you know it's still through Star Roar but I buy these from them because I don't like the um, larger the clear um, multi placers so I can get 30 of these for I think it's $13.99 or $14.99, something like that. So I can get those through there. And then sometimes I buy the um, 
these ones too. I can get these off of the website, the plastic single placers. So sometimes I like these, sometimes I don't. It's just a mood thing. For the most part though, I use the the brass single placer. But those multi-placers are my favorite multi-placers um, that can get through Star Roar. And uh, <clears throat> I know a lot of the companies used to include those with the kit, but they don't seem to be doing that any longer. They're using the clear plastic. And I don't care for those because they just seem too wide. It causes, for me, it causes more gapping. So this is the diamond painting. And this is at the point I was the first time I recorded this, but I wanted to try and um, adjust the camera a bit and not make you sick in the process. Yeah, well, it didn't work to my advantage because I ended up hitting stop instead of pause. But this is a poured glue, which makes this more pliable. Which I like that. And, and you see these... Um, Let's see, let me do it this way. See all these here? These, this has nothing to do with the canvas. This is just in the clear cover. So you can go ahead and just pull this back. And as you see, that line disappears. See, there is nothing wrong with this canvas. This canvas is perfect <clears throat> you can see the drill field let me bring this back just a little bit so i don't want to flip this over and then have it collapse on itself hang on here so you just bring bring this back and put your arm under and i fix this here kind of has to drop at the same time but yeah, it doesn't want to cooperate. For some reason, it wants to give me a hard time. Uh, you might get a little bit of air under it. But when you do, you just bring, this, bring it back again. I don't know what it's giving me a hard time. There we go. Got it this time. Now see, you can see where there's still a line here. It's all right. You come to this other end here, and you do the same thing. Just pull it back. And that's it. This here, I'm not worried about. It's just where it was folded. If I leave it to, um, I can put some books on it and it'll um, straighten up or flatten out, not straighten up. But that, that little crease there will go away. It doesn't, it's not gonna affect my diamond painting experience in any way, shape or form. All the drills will stay lay, will still lay flat. So I'm not concerned with that. And you can also tell from the back here, I don't know there's things on it but see it's just where it was folded there's no rivers there's no you know um there's no um lifting or anything like that so anyway let's go ahead and get back to uh, the drill field and see the drill field is perfectly clear there's no problem. It might be a little blurry for you on this, on the C's. Let me see if I can. Oh, that's a G. Let's bring this up here close. Yeah, it does look a little blurry for you. It's just my camera. My camera's bad. Let's see if I can bring it back here. Focus. Come on, focus. Yeah, it doesn't want to focus. Yep, 
I believe it, believe it or not, it is clear. Because you can see it when it's, there we go. It's getting better. But in this spot here, it is, um, right there, that's a G. I can see it, it's just my camera's not wanting to pick it up properly. But I have no problem with the drill field. I'll have no problem being able to see the symbols. <clears throat> um, the only thing, let me see something here. Yeah, they use, uh, that's the problem. Now I found out why that jumps. As soon as I turn a, light, turn a light on, it causes it to freak out. Um, looking at this, the only thing that looks like it might be a little bit of a concern is it. they use symbols as, if you see this here, and because this is poured glue, it's pliable, so I can bend this thing and it will be just fine. But they use, um, they just use symbols. They don't use numbers, like a lot of, um, you know, they use, just use letters. They don't use symbols or numbers. So they use capitals and lower cases. So we've got a lowercase e, we have a lowercase a, and so what I thought was a G isn't a G, it's actually an E. So yeah, these, they might be a little, you know, I just have to make sure I do this on a light pad. Light pad will make all the difference in the world. It has a nice soft cover. Um, it's not, I don't know what this is made out of. It feels like a, like a cotton or like a, you know, when you get the, um, oh my goodness, I can't think of what it's called. Just a second. Okay, sorry about that. Um, I cannot think of the, the fabric that this is, that you get, you get squares of them. You can buy them individually in all different colors. Felt, that's it. This has like a felt feel to it. It's soft, it's nice, it grabs on everything now. Everything. Um, this had, was a little dirty when I got it. It was still wrapped up and opened up, so I don't know what it is, but that does not affect the front. So, we're good. All right, so let's get into the drills. If the crinkle bothers you, please mute your phone for just a minute. While I get this out. I personally like the sound because then I know I'm opening drills. Okay, so I do have some loose ones here. From beginning yeah. All right. so this is a1 which is they have it listed as a you know it's a1 because it's the first one so we have 208 we have 997 97 797 we have 823 which is that dark blue let me see if I can give it some better lighting one second please Turn this light off. Okay, so now you're getting it in true color. It's no light. This is the natural sunlight. So there's 823, which is a dark navy blue. We have 318, which is like a medium gray. 799, which is a blue. It's almost like a, I don't know. Was that um, not peridot? It's a it's a corn flower or corn corn something blue. I forget what the crayola crayon was. Anyhow, we have eight forty two. 
uh, 30, 334. I'll bring this back here so it'll move better on my table. We've got a lighter blue, which is 800. We got 918, 336, which is a, another blue. We have th uh, 3371, which is like a chocolate brown. Which I don't know where that'll go. That's just kind of strange. I'll have to look at that. We have 550, everybody's favorite eggplant or plum purple. 3755, another shade of blue. A lot of blues in this painting. 3778, kind of like a peachy, almost like a yeah, kind of a peachy coral color. 3799, it's a very dark gray. 38, yeah, 3830, another type of a, it almost is like a orangey mauve, I guess. And then we have our first, now we're going into our ABs. So we've got 211. And anybody who does not know, AB stands for Aurora Borealis. You can see the sparkle. I'm trying to get this in there for you. Bear with me. You see that extra little sparker, sparkle on there? Might not be coming through on the camera. You can see it in the next one so much better. But AB stands for Aurora Borealis. It's an iridescent coating that is put on the grills to give it that, that little extra something something. And it makes the um, regular drills, gives them an extra shine. You can see that rainbow. So you can see this does not have any AB coating on it, and this does. So, okay, so back to... So we have 211 is the purple. All right. Sorry about the crinkle. AB, or 211 is the purple AB. And we got 946, which is actually the same as the little baggie that I showed you. And we got a straggler here. Somebody, somebody wanted to travel. They didn't want social distance at all. All right, then we've got two bags, three bags, excuse me, three bags of the white AB. Oh, we got another one. We got people having parties over here, not wearing masks. Okay. All right, hold on here. Let me get this out of the way. And we will go on to the, um, the rhinestones. All right, so our first is I have to look here. Does it give? Yes, it does. So this one here, they count, they don't give you an AB number. I mean a uh, code number on it. They just say it's bag 21. So this here is. Oh, first, let's go to this one. Let's do this in order. This one here is. Drill number, oh, it's two. So they don't go by um, DMC or anything on this. So this here is like a red. This one here is another shade of red. They're all upside down. It's like, this one here seems to be like, I don't know, like a, a ruby-like red. Oh, this one here is more like a ruby red. This is, or this is more like a ruby, I guess. And this would be like a scarlet, I think, or whatever that is is and then this one here is a uh, violet purple a lighter lighter type purple we've got green we've got an emerald green so this is like a lime green or a peridot green and this is like an emerald green or a shamrock -like color green a kelly green that's that Kelly Green. This is, this would be your emerald. It doesn't want to, I'm going to try and get these to flip over so we can see it. Yeah, they all want to, 
They all want to show their flat side, not their um, their shiny side. But really, that's more like an emerald green. And then we have another type of a red, another shade of red. So let's see real quick where these go, and then I will be finished. All right, so looking at this, the ABs will be um, will be where the the X's are here, so all of this, pretty much, <clears throat> excuse me, all of the white's gonna be AB. So this is gonna have tons and tons of sparkle. And the AB for white is 5,200. Um, then we've got the 946, which is F. You will find that here in, like around the scarf, around, you know, it's going to have the highlights of that around here. It's just going to be just kind of scattered throughout. 211, which is O, that's also AB. You will find that in different, it's going to outline. It's going to be on the out, outer edges of the snowman. And those are the only three ABs that we have. So we've got the O, the F, and the X. So we've got the snow, we've got the scarf. And when we've got the outline of the um, snowman. Then for our rhinestones, our rhinestones are going to be, there's going to be some here. We're going to have some rhinestones over here in the, the darker shades of the red. We're going to have some rhinestones up here. These lighter shades of green. And the next shade of green and then the darker green here and we will also have some rhinestones here also in the scarf so yeah overall i am absolutely 100 percent pleased with this canvas is perfect and we also have a checklist you can check off your diamonds down here making sure you have everything that you need it is a 35 the drill area is 35 by 47, but the fabric size is 39 by 59. So it is not a full size canvas. I mean, it's a full dry, it's a full drill, but it just it is not the full size of the canvas, which is fine. I do like how they let you know what that it, you know what the drill area is opposed to the um, canvas itself. This is what it will look like once it is completed. It is absolutely adorable. I love it. So, I guess that is all <clears throat> that I have for you today. You know what? I just realized I didn't show you the um, <laughs> the kit, did I? Yeah. Did not show you the kit. All right. So it comes in the nice the nice baggie, which is what um, I get my. This is from this is from um, Star Wars that I ordered off of Amazon. So this is that 30 pack of four placers. So they all come in this nice kind of like it's almost like a vinyl type bag. And the contents of the kit are, and I'm pretty excited because this will be this is completely new to me. All right, so you get your clear pen with the blue squishy plastic single placer. And your four placer, plastic four placer. You also receive a bag of baggies. There are enough baggies in here. In this bag, you, they give you enough baggies for all of your drills. So a lot of people like to work out of their baggies opposed to using another storage system. I personally use a storage system, but these will be nice for um, when I just have a little bit of drills. You also get a pair of tweezers that are branded. They say Star Wars R on them. They come with a plastic cap. These are very well made, high quality tweezers. They are round instead of, you've got your pointy tweezers that these are, these are pointy. That's on my finger. Sorry about the nails guys, it's COVID. 
it's a COVID time. I am not going to get my nails done and then my skin's drying out. So yeah, anyway, so these are pointy and these are blunt. So, um, yeah, they still pinch. I mean, yeah, but these will stab. These will just pinch. So, um, I lost the cover. So I would advise to keep the cover on these, but these are nice metal, sturdy, uh, tweezers. They also give you an extra large um, straightener, clear plastic straightener. They give you a seven placer, <clears throat> excuse me, just like the four placer, but it's seven. You can put the seven drills at a time instead of four with this one. And you get a blue heart shaped piece of wax, which I am so excited about this. I've heard nothing but good things about the blue wax. I can't wait to try it. And then you receive your white um, tray with a funnel. So that is everything that comes with the toolkit. I said I am 100% satisfied with this painting. Um, I can't wait to start on it. It took, I ordered it on... Gosh, when did I order it? Now I can't remember. I think I ordered it on Saturday. And I received it on Tuesday. Tuesday or Wednesday, I received it. I said this was through Amazon. Um, even, you know, what it said two-day shipping, but, you know, it didn't even ship out until... I, it may have shipped out Saturday, maybe. I can't remember when I ordered it, but either way, it only took two or three days to get to me. So I'm not, there was no problem with that. And then I wanted to check the drill field. Definitely sticky. So I have no problem with that. So anyway, until next time, guys, I hope you have a wonderful 4th of July. Hope you have a wonderful weekend in general. Please stay safe. Stay, you know, keep children away from the fireworks. Please keep your animals indoors. If you have animals, please bring them in the house because these are times for these poor babies that they're petrified from the noises. So I do everything I can for my little guy to keep the TV up a little louder or the music up a little louder during the time that people are letting off fireworks. If you have animals that you cannot get inside, please, please make sure that they are safe in their own backyard, that they cannot break free of their chain if they're chained or cannot jump a fence. I hope I hope we do not have leashed up animals outside. It's also, in some areas of the country, extremely excessively hot. Please bring your animals in. Do not let them sit outside in, in this heat. If they are outside for periods of time, please make sure that they have fresh cold water that they have access to. Please stay safe out there. If you go anywhere, please try and show practice social distancing and wear a mask. Please do not touch your face. And I just hope you have a wonderful 4th of July and a wonderful weekend. Until next time, guys, happy diamond painting. <laughs>